What is the read, draw, write strategy? Today we'll be talking about the read, draw, write strategy or process, sometimes called RDW. The read, draw, write process is a strategy for solving word problems in math. This article breaks down the steps for answering questions, including an example of a read, draw, write solution. Let's get started. The first letter in RDW is R, which stands for read. This is the first step in the RDW process, and that is to carefully read the problem. You'll underline important facts and also what you need to know in, to answer the question. You'll want to make sure you understand what the question is asking for before you start trying to work for, through the problem. So let's read this question together. Lee plants sunflower seeds. He plants the seeds in three rows of eight. I've underlined three rows of eight because that is the important information that will go into my math solution. How many sunflowers will Lee grow? I've circled this because this is the question that I need to answer. Draw an array to show how Lee plants the seeds, then write a multiplication sentence to solve. Notice that I've double underlined draw an array and write a multiplication sentence because these are things that I want to be sure to include in my answer. The next letter in RDW is D for draw. In this step, you'll draw a model that represents the problem and how to solve it. Remember, there were three rows of eight. So I've drawn an array with three rows and eight in each row. And I've also written a multiplication equation. Three times eight equals 24. The purpose of drawing a model is to make a visual representation of the information in the problem. Now, even though I've drawn an array here, this could be any math model. You could use an array, a tape diagram or bar diagram, a number bond, or anything else that helps you to understand what the problem is asking and how you could work through your solution. Step three is D, RDW is W. W stands for write. We're going to write out an answer to the problem using words and numbers to describe what's being asked, what information was used to arrive at a solution, and the solution to the problem. So we're using complete sentences. Here's my example. Lee will grow 24 sunflowers. I know this because three rows of eight equals 24 in all. Let's review the read, draw, write process or strategy. R stands for read. Read the question and pick out the important information. W stands for draw. Draw a picture to help you solve the problem. Remember, this could be any math model, such as an array, a bar diagram or tape diagram. It could be a multiplication equation, a repeated addition equation, anything that helps visualize how to solve the problem. The last step is W for write. Write the answer as a sentence, making sure to include as much information as you can from the question itself. So now you know how to use the read, draw, write process to solve word problems. On my website, I have several practice sheets that you can use. Each one has the practice sheets and the answers. Those are available for sale on my website and the link will be in the description box below. For more math help, please visit tinabrigham.com math. While you're here, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.